Study strategies, how to memorize a list. I'm Grace Martin and I am your science teacher of the day. Today, I wanna to teach you how to memorize your list of the first 10 Greek prefixes, which we know is super important for when we are studying chemistry and naming our molecular compounds. So first strategy I wanna go through is a mnemonic. Now a mnemonic is when you take a list of words and you take the first letter of every word, for example, to make an acronym. So what I'm going to use was actually brought up to me by a student. I didn't come up with this on my own, and it's a little bit morbid, just so that you're aware. Monique died trying to put her hand on Natalie's dog. Ooh, that's quite a mental image, but it can help you to remember. So you go into a test and you start thinking, Monique died trying to put her hand on Natalie's dog. Write down on the top corner of your desk, one mono, two die, three try, as you're going through your mnemonic. Now you might need something that's more than that because trying to put her hand, right? So trying to, that's two T's, we might mix up our, our tetra and our tri prefixes. So let's come up with another method as well for studying these Greek prefixes. If you've heard of the disease mono, it's a nasty little disease that if you get it, mm, nobody else wants to be around you. It's also called the kissing disease. So I'm sure teachers, if you go ahead and use that example in your classroom, someone is going to now make a joke about COVID. You roll with the punches and decide, but my students have always thought it's really funny. If someone got mono, you'd want to stay away from them. There would be one person with mono way over there because even if they were in a couple, because it's the kissing disease and they got together, they were now going to be apart and alone. So mono is one. Kids love coming up with crazy ideas like that. For two, I get the kids to draw a little picture of two dice. Okay, so die, die as in there's two die. So two individual dice that you could cast. So I get them to draw a picture. Three is pretty easy. Try is triangle or try is for tricycle. Get the kids to come up with an example that works for them that they are going to memorize from their context. Four is tetra. Now, if you've never played Tetris, then maybe Tetris won't be the best example for you, but you can come up with something else. If someone is really mathematically inclined, they might write down tetrahedron because they know it's a four-sided shape. So, or Tetra, think Tetris, where you have those four-sided shapes sometimes that you have to maneuver around to get into place. Five is Penta. Pretty much everyone is aware of the U.S. Pentagon, even if you're Canadian, our students still know what the Pentagon is, and they can draw a Pentagon too. Usually they've known a Pentagon from math class. So we use a shape again for triangle and for Pentagon. Students don't always remember that a hexagon is a six-sided shape though. So what I like to say is underline the X in hexa and then write the word six and underline the X in six. So we want to differentiate between hexa and hepta. Well, hexa has a six, right? Six X. So we've got X in six, X in hexa. For hepta, I drew a hepa filter. So notice my shape kind of looks like a hepa filter. And I was able to draw a seven around the box of the hepa filter so that I could think hepa is seven, like that box shape, so I can fit a filter inside. Eight's really easy. Think of an octopus. An octopus has eight tentacles, so octa is for eight. Nona, I get kids to underline the double N, N, N for Nona and nine. Or if your students have an Italian background, then ask them, hey, what do you call your Nana, your grandmother? Say it's Nona. And you might say something like, yeah, Nona is 90 years old. Get them to try to think of something like that. 10 is also pretty easy if kids think of what a decade is. Well, a decade, how long does a decade last? A decade lasts for 10 years. So DECA stands for 10. I hope that this has been helpful for you and happy studying. This has been Grace Martin, your science teacher of the day.